Okay guys, now I'm going to show you how to make your U-Torrent speeds really fast. First I'm going to give a shout out to a YouTube user named Maximo Milkman. I don't know if he's still maintaining his channel, but I used his video and this really helped me out. So I'm just going to spread the joy and show you guys. So basically you're going to open up U-Torrent. The current version as of, um, let's see, it would be June the 3rd, 2010, 11.41am is going to be uTorrent 2.0 wait 2.0.2 .2. yeah so this should be the version you have you're going to go to this little uh, gear it's going to say preferences and you're going to click it you will have several options but I will show you exactly what you need to do go to connection and type in for listening port port used for incoming connections this is going to be 45682. Make sure that this is not checked or this will fuck you up bad. Randomize each port. Randomize, ew, randomize port each start. Make sure that is not checked. And um, make sure this is checked also. Add Windows Firewall exception. If this isn't checked, then your firewall will block and it will go a lot slower. Okay, you're just gonna have to trust the uploader if it's virus free. Make sure you check the comments on each torrent to make sure it is. So now you're going to go to bandwidth, first one down. And the first thing you're gonna see is global up rates limiting, maximum upload rate is going to be 65. Uh, this is going to be unchecked, it's going to be defaultly zero, which is fine. Make sure that uh, maximum download rate is zero too. Global maximum number of connections is 1890. Uh, maximum number of connected peers per torrent, 2329. Number of upload slots per torrent, 14. I'm not sure if this affects anything, but I just have this checked. Um, use additional upload slots of uh, upload speed is less than 90%. I don't know what that does, but I just have it checked. Uh, then you're going to go down to queuing, which is our final stop and you first thing you'll see is maximum number of active torrents upload or download is going to be at 60 maximum number of active downloads is going to be at 63 uh, ratio is greater or equal to 100 percent or less than equal to 100 um, percent it will actually I think it's like defaultly one or defaultly I think it default is at 160 but I just change it to 100 because I find this more reliable and this is going to be zero and this should be four it's going to be grayed out but if you click it it will highlight it and it will change it to four uh... don't do anything in advance because you don't want to mess anything up and you'll pretty much you know you'll be set click apply okay um... and you should have pretty fast download speeds however like i said seeders always um... you know seeders plays a big part if you have one seeder, you're not going to get very high speeds. But if you have anywhere around 100 to 1,000 seeders, I've seen torrents like really big ticket games like The Sims and Spore with up to maybe like 2,000 seeders. But you probably, the, the, the cap will probably be 100 seeders. But when you have 100 more seeders, you will get incredibly high download speeds. Even with 484 seeders, I got 1.1 megabytes, and that's freaking huge. So basically, this file, which was 64 or uh, 645 megabytes, was downloaded in exactly 645 seconds. So that's pretty good. Uh, the more peers you have is also a problem. Um, typically, you don't want. I mean, there's always going to be more peers or leechers than seeders. Peers and leechers are the same thing. Don't really worry about. It. Just make sure the ratio is kind of you know fair. It's not like 20 seeders with 1,000 peers, which is pretty impossible, but, you know, you get the point. So, that'll be it. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, guys, when you're done downloading a torrent, don't delete it. Don't right-click and remove, because what you're doing is you're seeding, which basically adds to the seeders and helps other people download it. Seed for maybe about two or three days just to be a gentleman, and then you can delete it. But if you don't seed at all, then you're kind of being a douchebag, and you're not letting other people download so it's really important that you keep it on seating. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I will upload my next video about mounting pretty soon. So thanks.